<laughs> I mean, I think we should be clear on what universities are, yeah. right? Uh, especially private universities. I mean, universities are part of the social reproduction of society, which means that poor people come into them maybe and come out and are still probably poor, and rich people come into them and come out and are rich, uh, because what they do is uphold the structure, right? They don't challenge that structure in and of themselves, even if they provide a space for some individuals to then, to, you know, to, to raise their own level of consciousness, engage in organizing, do certain kinds of things. So that's a baseline. On top of that, these are real estate companies, which is what they are, right? I mean, it's literally what they are. Why is it that Penn wanted to charge $100 for another microphone? <laughs> right. Why is it that instead of, why is it that instead of the way that it used to be at some universities, I think, where student groups uh, could uh, reserve rooms for free or, you know, that a lot of universities now, they pay for them out of a budget that they get from the university. Why? Because this is all monetized. It has to be turned into this sort of uh, cycle, which is all based on space and, and use uh, and, uh, you know, and the value of that terrain. And so when Penn, for example, gentrifies University City, when it owns half of the buildings in that area, it's literally engaging in political maneuvering to drive up its own assets and make them worth more money. Um, and so this is what they do, and I don't think it should be a surprise. And then I think the strategic question is always to what degree are the programs that maybe they use to assuage their guilty conscience worth it, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, they do that, right? They provide certain kind of services. Um, they, you know, if we're talking about up in Mantua um, with another university that shall not be named, um, they provide certain kind of services to local communities, but it's also part of a gentrification scheme, right? Um, and, you know, so we're, you know, trapped in this, I think, situation where these dynamics are happening. We have to be clear, I think, about what they are um, and about, you know, uh, what exactly it is that they're trying to accomplish. We need to understand that they're not there for an educational purpose. That's not the, the function of the university. The function is to increase its endowment, right, and expand in a colonial way, take over territory, um, and become more powerful. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to what you think about this temple, the way they expanded, and uh, the stadiums, and uh, 